going to close this shield because the wind, as usual in the Chicagoland area, is pretty noisy. This is a response video to my friend. Where are they stopping for a green? It looked like they were going to try to stop. This is a response to Viper 29. About what your favorite gaming systems are. And, uh, I'll just do my top three. They would be, first of all, the PlayStation 2. And it's still uh, kind of recent in my mind because I've been playing Driver 3 on it a lot. I kind of like the style of games where you can either play along with the storyline or you can uh, just roam around freeform. And with the cheat codes, I can even unlock the other cities. So you've got I don't know what a total of three, four cities to roam around in in Driver 3. Now, uh, I need to let everybody know I am nowhere near a serious gamer. I would be way more to the casual end, so I don't play a lot. But when I do play, I do like that uh, combination of being able to free roam or go with the storyline, whatever you choose. And my second favorite gaming platform would be the PC. And this is going back to one of my favorite games of all time, World of Warcraft 2, which is uh, not even similar to the one nowadays they play, the WoW game they play online now with other people. This was just a more or less 2D, it had a 3D kind of view, but it was more or less a 2D battle and civilization uh, setup thing. I mean, it was, it was probably roughly similar, but... I remember when World of Warcraft uh, 2 came out, that was really awesome, and it took up a lot, a lot of time playing it. And then World of Warcraft 3 came out, and uh, they did away with the ships in the uh, ocean and stuff like that. And to me, that kind of made it bogus. I think I loaded it up and uh, maybe tried it once and just never played it again. I'd probably, if I wanted to play a retro game, I'd probably go back and play World of Warcraft 2 again, because that was much more fun. And then I played another one, I think it's called Evolution, but I'm probably wrong. It was one where you take a one-celled creature and uh, take it all the way up to advanced civilization and even outer space. I never got to the outer space part, but I did that on the PC. That was the last game I, pl I spent any time doing, and I may have even gotten that title wrong, but I'm thinking uh, the people that are uber gamers probably know which one I'm talking about. And then my third choice would be the Sega Genesis because it was so ahead of its time, but uh, I haven't had one around to play with since they actually uh, went out of style. My son uh, actually earned half the money. I told him if he would work and earn half the money, I'd pay the other half and get a Sega Genesis. And I think mostly what he liked to play, which I played with him at the time, because he was in middle school and then I'm not sure if he still had it when he was in high school, but we used to play a lot of fighting games. Uh, in fact, that one, uh, uh, here's me being a casual gamer, I cannot even remember it, but it was one of those fighting games that they made a movie where they're all uh, ninja, oriental style fighters. So that'll show you, I'm, uh, I'll actually go a month or two and not even play a game whatsoever, but then I just feel in the mood and then I play it. So anyway, that's my answer to your tag, Viper. That's my three favorite game systems. PlayStation 2, computer, and Sega Genesis. But the Sega Genesis is more or less just a memory now because, like I said, once my son got rid of the console a long time ago, I don't think I ever played another game.